How much does Team USA need Pulisic on the pitch? Brian, he'll be fine. You could tell by the smirk in his face that he, he'll be completely fine. And I appreciate you uh, announcing the pelvic contusion and then immediately coming to me. But in all seriousness, Brian, <laughs> when you look at what Christian Pulisic tangibly does, it's his pace off the ball. It's his ability to find space without the ball to get on the end of things. A fantastic goal against Iran. That's exactly the kind of plays you're going to have against the Dutch. But it's the intangibles. There's very few players in U.S. history that have played in bigger games. He's been in Europe at the highest of levels since he was 17 years old. This is the kind of moment that's not going to be too big for Pulisic. He's going to be fine, and he's massive for this team, I think, intangibly more than what he does on the field. He's already scored a goal. He's assisted on a goal, of course, with Tim Weah. So given that, give me another key player you're looking for who needs to step up alongside Pulisic. I'm going to give you a storyline, Brian, because obviously everyone's talking about Christian Pulisic and his injury. I actually think it's the injury to Josh Sargent that is the biggest X factor for this game Saturday morning. And here's the reason why. Yes, Josh Sargent may not have a goal, but it's all the little things he has done off the ball with his hold-up play, his link-up play, and now he's got a high ankle sprain. And all, all of us that have been on this show and played any sport – High ankle sprains are no joke, and it's extremely difficult to recover in less than four days. And so whoever plays in Josh Sargent's role, that's going to be the X factor because all of those little things he did against Iran, they're going to need even more against the Netherlands, and I'm not so sure they have that coming off the bench. Oh, okay, so listen, uh, USA, they're the underdog right now to the Netherlands. What do you think should be their game plan then against the Dutch? I think embrace being the, the underdog. Listen, uh, opposite of what the women are, and the women are favored in every single game they play, the men right now, they thrive in being the underdog. And so historically and legacy-wise, you look at it and say, Netherlands versus the United States, this is, this is easy for the Dutch. And I don't think it is as much. You can look at the numbers, and they can tell you what they want, whether it's the world ranking, what Netherlands have done in this tournament. Truth is, the Dutch haven't been that impressive in this tournament. Their group was fairly easy. In the way they play, they overwhelm me in possession. They overwhelm you tactically. Brian, it almost plays into the hands of the United States being the underdog and playing off the ball and trying to catch them and surprise them on the counter. I think if you embrace that role and stay compact in that role, I think the United States could surprise them. We've got, got to go real quick. What, what kind of chance are you giving USA against the Dutch? Oh, I think this one goes the extra time. I think this has 1-1 one, one written all over it, and then you throw the chips up in the air and see where they fall. All right, Taylor Twelman uh, with us getting up early on Get Up. Thank you, Taylor. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.